in my experience of being a homeless person, I have been marveled at how badly people like to lie to themselves. They lie to themselves about their rights to drive up to me and imply that they bought me something. And I sit there and think, wow, you feel you have power over me because you at no time asked my permission or gained access to my consent to buy me anything. It makes me nervous because people who like to buy things for people, generally speaking, are trying to practice some form of financial abuse. I've given you this, so I'm going to take this from you later. I'm going to take that from you later. And it is a way that human trafficking, sex trafficking, info trafficking does often begin. Also, in other cultures, buying something for someone is a predictive gift. In the Japanese culture, we do give gifts when we go visit someone's home, when we go do things. We certainly do that. But that's a part of that culture and a part of hospitality. When I'm from old school families like mine, it's true. If I go and stay with someone's family, it's my responsibility as an ensign, which is my last name technically, and really not your business, is that openly my family would require me to take a hospitality gift or buy some flowers or buy some sort of a, um, uh, I don't know, some sort of a dessert or some sort of an appetizer situation that I can gift to that family because I'll be staying there for a time. You know, we don't pay rent when we go and stay with people, when we go and play with people, when we go and, I hate to say lay with people, but we don't do that. There are some people whose love languages is gifts. Not everyone has that concept. There are also some old-fashioned men like me who like to give gifts to make someone laugh because it's funny. In my business, however, of marketing, I'm a big proponent of 3D mail in terms of newsletters, in terms of small items I might send in a package to give you some silly surprise or help you celebrate in a really unreal way an upcoming holiday. The truth is that I'm not lying to myself about my right to do that because you provided me your business mailing address and you allowed me the right to contact you that way. And openly, it's a way that old-fashioned men also used to send girls they liked wooing gifts.